You know, you are the last thing that Bailey needs right now. You don't know what she needs. This is not a game, all right? We are talking about a child's life here. Look, I get you don't like me. You offered to make Bailey go away if I paid you some cash. I just met my kid, okay? I was freaked out. Right, and your first initial response was money, not the welfare of a child. I made a mistake. Okay, Bailey and I both have this parent thing is kind of crazy. <sighs> but we will figure it out, and we don't need you to do that. Mm. You know, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. A big shot lawyer throwing around words like child's welfare. You could probably slam me with bogus charges, get me thrown in jail. You think I'd do it? You could try whatever you want. But one thing you can't do is take away my rights as that kid's dad. Can I come in? Yeah. What do you want? I was gonna call, but I didn't want to take the chance that you'd say get lost. Look, if this is about us living together with Stuart, I'm, I have no clue about you, us. I got a job here in Pine Valley. Pays enough to support all three of us. Your mommy just checked in on us. Hey. That's a good thing. It means she's concerned. Don't you worry, okay? Daddy's not really dying. But since she doesn't know that, your mommy's gonna take really good care of me. She's gonna give me strength. She's gonna give me the courage to fight and live. Yeah, that's right. And when I survive for her, for our family, She's gonna love me for it. I was, uh, the door was open, so. You wanted to talk? Actually, I, I was uh, looking to see if I could find any evidence that David had this blood disease. Uh, the test results, I couldn't tell what they meant. Did they check out? Well, I spent half the night trying to research the thing, so. And? Uh. I, uh, I can only say this. If it's real, he's got about six months to live. Well, I had my doubts at first, too. Yeah. This would be classic Hayward, though, you know, to get what he wants, to get to spend time with you and Trevor. Well, I have seen him take his medication, some experimental drug from Malaysia. Yeah, but... He could be making that up. He could have made it himself. Well, him being sick would explain a lot. Him making it up and lying, that would also be easy to explain. Look, when David dies, I will be free of prison time over my head and custody battles and this crazy contract hanging over me. I, I will be free to be with our son and you. Please tell me that that's what you want to. Jake, we, we are so close to having the life that we dreamed about. Unless you can't forgive me for what I did with David. What do you mean you're not telling Marissa? Of course you're gonna tell Marissa, she's your wife. You owe it to her, she was with you every step of the way the first time around. That's exactly why I'm not telling her. Marissa put her life on hold, which meant less studying, less class, less doing what she wants because of my cancer. Yeah, JR, it's called love. It's what people normally do when somebody they're crazy about gets slammed and needs help. When my cancer went into remission, Marissa could breathe again. She could live her life again, get her life back on track as an attorney, and I'm not going to take that away from her. Oh, I'm sure she wouldn't see it. Too. I'm not telling her. I need you with me on this. Let me ask you a question. How are you gonna cover your symptoms, huh? Especially when you go back on the chemo. I'm gonna hold off till after the trial. Oh, screw that. You're not gonna delay treatment, that's ridiculous. With my wife and a crack attorney like Liza, this trial will be over in a couple weeks tops. And if it's not? After the trial, Tad. Marissa has given me so much, I just wanna be able to give her something back. 
Why don't you just tell me what's wrong and I'll give Liza the message as soon as she gets back. Yeah, you want to know what's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. I just came from Willis's office. He offered me a deal, a deal that I know Liza's behind. There's no deal, Scott. Oh, like hell there isn't, Marissa. He agreed to drop all charges against me if I testify against Annie. Yeah, take the deal. 